Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting reveal slash unboxing. I will put the unboxing video beside me so that you guys can see it. But here it is. It is something from Chanel. This is the bag that it came in with the little bow. Here's the box that it came in. It's a small box, small magnetic box. Actually, uh, I think I was given the wrong box because I think this box actually didn't fit my item very well because it was sort of um, like my item was actually bulging out a little bit but it didn't like it didn't damage anything or whatsoever of course it had all the ribbons as you will see in the unboxing above um, I even received a you know the Chanel kit I haven't opened it yet, but basically it has the buffing cloth inside. That's what it comes with. And the inside has a booklet. And it just, uh, okay, it talks about all the, your Chanel product basically in all the languages. Very nice. And then it has this buffing cloth, which I knew it came like, that was the whole sort of reason why this whole thing was given to people who buy the Chanel flaps. Oh, and it has this cardboard here to keep it straight. So yeah, so this is the buffing cloth that you're supposed to use on your bags when you buff your the leather. I also want to thank my bestie here on YouTube. Hey babe, Amy Jo. You guys should follow her. I will put her uh, channel link down below as well. Uh, she was so sweet. Uh, of course, we've been chatting all along, all this time, ever since we've gotten to know each other and became good friends. Um, anyway, of course, she knew that I was, you know, lusting for one. She was just too sweet. She lined up for me, basically, and I'm so grateful that she did because otherwise, I know for sure I wouldn't be able to get it. I think this is extremely hard to get wherever you are, wherever you go. Um, so yeah, she managed to snatch one from me and then I just came and paid for it. How lucky was I, right? So this is the mini flap and the mini flap comes in two variations. Well, three, but the two that I was lusting for was the either the square or the rectangle. I knew the rectangle would fit more and I knew the square would be kind of close because you know how many things I carry and what I need to carry on a daily basis at a very minimum so I was kind of nervous that it wouldn't fit um, but luckily after sort of playing around with it the last few days I know that it does it's a tight fit as you can see from the camera it looks super shiny because I have all kinds of lights around but it is indeed a shinier caviar with a finer grain she has a beautiful dainty chain with light gold hardware there's still some protective plastic on here and underneath to sort of protect it and uh, I won't remove it until it becomes all like disgusting uh, and here it is it's just a small bag with another slip pocket inside and a zipper pocket and it's very straightforward both sides they did it like kind of inwards like this towards the back which makes it more even didn't quite know whether it would work out for sure for me but i have an i have a feeling that it would i just have to be patient because right now the leather is so new and still so stiff like i don't know if you can tell from me pinching it i try to um sort of you know play around with it a little bit when i say play around i meant like you know testing my items out inside and you know trying to close it if it would or not um, so it would definitely, it's definitely a tight squeeze after I put my stuff in it. Uh, I basically have to, you know, pinch this a little bit more, like help it, help it because the leather is so stiff right now, it's so new. So I have to kind of pinch it a little bit more before I close the flap. From what I've heard, uh, the rectangular flap was just so hard to get anyway. I think they might have gotten like one out of the whole Chanel Cruise launch. This definitely fit less than the Rectangle Mini because I have tried the Rectangle Mini in store in the past. Obviously it wasn't in the color or leather that I wanted. I think with the Rectangle Mini, it didn't taper in as much. 
that's how I felt. I felt like it was more square or it was more straight uh, overall and also the fact that it was wider this way my phone really fit in it comfortably it looks like it would fit for sure but there's you know there's lining and the there's the outside leather and then there's the lining inside as well so it does take up some space and I basically have to line it against the back in order for it to fit better but it's still a tight squeeze and it does fit which luckily I am I read in the purse form that the current cruise collection is slightly larger than some of the past mini sizes and for minis I have a feeling just from my observation and from my research I have a feeling that minis are of course they're kind of they're a classic bag but they're also seasonal in a sense that they kind of change a little bit obviously they change the leather they change the colors but even the sizing changes a little bit and the drop on it I actually prefer the length of this strap because it fits me perfectly I am kind of petite even though I am 5'4 perhaps I'm just under 5'4 I'm not sure but the strap length on this one fits me perfectly on my shoulder as well as crossbody. I think they really did treat this leather quite a bit and it is quite tougher. It feels really tough. Uh, it does have a smaller grain. So aside from the fact that it has quite stiffer of a leather texture, uh, I was also um, trying to fiddle with the links which got out of place. Uh, which is not super hard to do, but I did notice that and I've never noticed that on my um, Chanel Jumbo if that makes any sense. I don't know if it's because it's so stiff that even the links when they get stuck, they just get stuck there. It's not a really big issue, but yeah, I just thought I would point this out and just as a comparison to my Jumbo, which as I said uh, in my previous video, it, you know what, the jumbo looks super shiny, but really in reality, it's way more subdued uh, than uh, this one, even though on camera it doesn't look like it. Um, there you go, I think this is a better, maybe not without, not, maybe not with the lighting, but here, I think this is a better representation of the leather. It depends on when, which season you got it, and which time even during the same year you got it. Uh, I feel that this one is a lot softer, the leather, but still, you know, it still has a nice, really nice sheet and of course when you're wearing it, nobody will see it. Um, so yeah, here's the difference. The sizing difference is tremendous. This one is silver hardware, this one is the light gold hardware, and as, as you can see even from far, it, sometimes it's hard to tell. I have my brooch here which is kind of a lighter color as well, so yeah, I really love this too. I think I'm either into really big bags or really small bags. I guess even though I did do my, I guess, 2016 uh, handbag collection, I would have to add this one in now. I'm not going to redo the video, obviously, but instead of 9 bags, I now have 10. And yeah, super cute and just super excited to wear it over the holidays. And just whenever I want to be super compact, my phone... A uh, six key holder and my LV slim card case will fit for sure along with my lip balm a little snack and even like a pack of tissue that will fit for sure uh, I think because those items are a little bit more flexible so it's okay to kind of squish it more uh, whereas when I fit my camera I do find that there is a bit of a struggle it is possible depending on how exactly you position your things but it is possible and perhaps I should do a what's in my bag video in the future to show you guys that but for now I just want to use it a little bit more to sort of get to know this bag a little bit more and um, yeah I guess it's time for a little bit of modeling shot. In case you guys are wondering, this top is from Banana Republic. Uh, I did size up because this is a size small and so it is kind of loosey-goosey a little bit and the sleeves are super long. But I decided to size up because when I was trying to size extra small, it was so short, I kind of didn't like the look as much. So hopefully the wool will shrink a little bit after a wash. <music> box 
unboxing and reveal video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will probably do a more in-depth review and also a very detailed what's in my bag of this one. And until then, I will talk to you again very soon. Bye guys! Thank you.